Okay, so let's do this again. So, <clears throat> what up YouTube? This is uh, September. We're looking at PlayStation Plus exclusive discounts. Exclusive discounts. And uh, so, um, yeah, let's have a look at this and see what the hell we've got going in this thing. So we are looking at Apex Legends. Uh, I suppose I've never played Apex myself. Don't intend to actually start playing it. But I suppose if you're enjoying the game, there's all these packs there. So you've got these uh, Legend packs, Octane, whatever it might be. This pack, this pack. And uh, then you've got Hitman Standard Edition. This is actually... Was this three? Was it two? I think the free game this month is Hitman 2. So you can pick up the uh, the discounts. I go back to discounts here so you can pick up the uh, Hitman 3 which is also discounted as well so if you'd like the taste of Hitman 2 uh, you can pick up Hitman 3 uh, discounted to 27.49 um, there's also Biomutant never played it um, and uh, look looked like a cool game but I mean I guess it didn't do well so it's discounted here uh, Heat great price here 8.99 you can't really say that's a bad price I mean it's not a bad game it's okay um, then you've got some more Apex Legends stuff here. Devil May Cry, you can pick up the Virgil and the Deluxe Edition packs. Now I don't get this, this this, this is weird. So you've got Far Cry 6, hasn't come out yet. Premium Edition, it's already discounted. I'm, I'm looking at this price here, and 10% discount is, is £100. Uh, they're discounted to 89 99 the game hasn't come out yet. So if I click on this thing, it says here, pre-order. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking that if it's 89 99 and they might have just thought to ourselves, okay, I think we're charging a bit too much, so they probably just adjusted the price on this thing because that doesn't seem like a good deal. This I don't get. So Death Loop. This game was when the PS5 came out, was was on the PS5 as a pre-order. It's still on a pre-order and it's still discounted. I have no faith in Death Loop at all. Um Bethesda, you guys, it basically just looks like a just a rip of Dishonored. Um but I mean, and it's still discounted <laughs> at this stage, man. What is the point? I mean, I, I guess you should know, tell people that, hey, by the way, this game is still due to come out at some point. You know, it was due to come out last year and it's still delayed, for fuck's sake, all right? But let's have a look at some other stuff here. So you got some other sort of weird games here, some VR games. I haven't actually, I've got the adapter for my PS VR, so I can plug into my PS5. I haven't done that yet, so I will maybe spend some time and do that. So, got some other sort of games here. It's End of God, I don't know what that is. I might just, I'm not going to intend to play this game. I'm maybe I might check out the gameplay if it's any good. I mean, it looks like some sort of survival horror game. Hey, it might be good. Twenty pound, it's not a bad price for a game. I mean, if it's got good gameplay, if the reviews I think is good, I might check that thing out. Got some other indie stupid games here. Yakuza Collection Remastered. I think that says Yakuza Three, Four, and Five. Because I think they'd call Y. Kawhi was yeah, so it's Yakuza 3, 4 and 5. Um 20 pounds a great price, There's tons of gameplay there, so you guys can definitely if you're into if you want a long <laughs> thing to do, this is definitely something that you can uh, pick up. But yeah, if you wanna check out um I think it's Kawami, is it I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Kawami, but you can check out Yakuza Kwami 1 and 2, which is basically Yakuza 1 and 2 just remastered. Um then you've got uh, South Park Fractured but whole I think Stick of Truth is way better. Uh, Fractured by Holden do it. it justice, the True Truth Special Edition. Uh, some other sort of indie games there as well. Uh, Journey, uh, it's a great game, but for ten pounds still, maybe, maybe it's a PS4. It's not really hasn't got any PS5 upgrades to that thing, but yeah, why not? Uh, if you're into tr simulators, there's Train Simulator here as well. Never been a fan of any of these like these simulator games. Um, I suppose if you want to get into that, Catherine, full body edition, fifteen pound. Um, Catherine, it's annoying to say the least. So I played this thing on PS3. Uh, PS3 did I play it on? PS4. No, I played it on PS4, I think. And uh, yeah, a stump stage, you know, the randomized block thing, bullshit. I can't, I'm not going to go through that. And some MotoGP stuff as well. So you've got MotoGP3, you've got MotoGP19. So I mean, they've got some, got some okay deals there. You know, the $2.99 for some, uh, for some MotoGP games. $2.49 there as well. What's the difference between this and this? Oh, it's a special edition. So yeah, why not? Special Edition gets some extra stuff there. Then you've got the Monster Energy Supercross Special Edition. Why not just have them all produced? I've already bought this thing <laughs> because my name is in the title. I haven't played it. Aces of Luftwaffe. 
Um, I might check that thing out. We've got Locks Quest. This looks kind of cool. Uh, okay. Um, I can't. I can't justify myself. I mean, sure, it might be a fun little game, but this, this is this to me is a game that I want to play on the Switch. It's not a game I want to play on PS5 at all. Um, Starlink's there as well. Uh, what's this thing? Again, I'm looking at this. This is this is for me. It's a game I would rather play on the Switch. I do not want to be buying it for the PS5. So let's see. If I'm if I'm on the PS5 here, if I'm I'm looking at the store, I don't want to be buying shit like this. I want to be buy, if I buy shit like this, I will intend to play this on the fucking Switch. Like this, this I'm looking at here. What is this? This I don't even think I want to buy anyway. This just looks fucking just. It just looks weird. It looks like like Donkey Kong or some shit. Uh, but <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sifu's there as well. I remember Sifu being announced. This guy basically sitting there training and he's getting older and older and older. I guess the game didn't do too well because it's already discounted. Because when I see any sort of discounts on the games, there's a reason why it's discounted. Either it's old or it hasn't done well. Uh, but yeah, you've got the Deluxe Edition, uh, which, uh, which is there. Is that is that pre-order or is it? Oh, it is a pre-order. Okay. I'm not saying it's doing it, but it's got 10% discount. Um, to me, this game looks like a game that should be like £20. Uh, it doesn't look like it's it's a it's a I mean they did feature it on the uh, I think it was what did they feature it on I think they feature it E3 I think it was E3 but anyway it releases um, uh, next year so if you wanna pre-order it now you could if you want but if I was you I would I would just wait I would actually just wait there's literally no point of pre-ordering games at this stage there's the games back in the days when games were scheduled to come out that was the game these days. Man, you pre-order a game, you just always getting let down. Anyway, this is the uh, exclusive discounts and also the free games as well. Um, you guys can check out Overcooked, uh, All You Can Eat, um, Hitman 2, and also the Predator Hunting Ground. So those are the games. Also, you've got the PlayStation Collection. So if you do get your hands on the PS5, don't don't, don't buy some scout prices. It's stupid. But yeah, um, you can pick up the uh, the games there as well. There's plenty of games for you to play there. I'm sure you won't get bored of that. But yeah, uh, this is Ace. Hope you enjoyed the little of uh, rundown of the uh, the shit that's going on on the PlayStation Store uh, for September 2021 and uh, yeah as always like subscribe peace out <laughs>